Good evening, and welcome to Dr. K today. I was substituting for uh, a history teacher at Putnam City West High School a few weeks ago, and all I was told to do was to show the students the movie Glory. Now, in this movie, which was about the Civil War, they said that the tide of the war turned in the Union's favor when they started allowing black soldiers in combat. You think? Like they were thinking, gee, the enemy enslaves black people, so maybe we should have black people fighting with us because they may be a little bit ticked off. Interesting strategy. I wonder if a similar strategy is being employed today. Because right now we are having growing tensions with Iran. And we can't really go to war with them because we've got soldiers strung out in Iraq and Afghanistan. But in Iran, they execute homosexuals. And we just started, just now, started allowing gays in the military. We got rid of that uh, don't ask, don't tell law, uh, queer eye for a straight lie law, you know. So, <clears throat> perhaps that is the intention. Since we are having tensions with Iran, we can't really go to war with them right now because we're so strung out with soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan. We're going to invade Iran with gay soldiers. You think about this now. I mean, most leaders in Iran are guys that have like a dozen wives with veils covering their faces. You could send a few drag queens in those palaces undercover. When the man starts taking a head count, <laughs> blow his head off with a gay K-47. And we can call this project Operation Pink Panther. Don't ask, don't tell. These guys are mad as hell. The Pink Panthers invaded Ran. Our new recruits are fruit. In Prada Army Boots, the Pink Panthers invade Iran. This is not the Dirty Dozen, Green Berets, or Private Ryan. But a few of them were under studies in Miss Saigon. They'll bomb, they'll shell, those flying Tinker Bells, the Pink Panthers invade Iran. They're flying through the air from our aircraft farriers. The Pink Panthers invade Iran. You should see the trenches that they dug to hide those looted Persian rugs. Thank you for watching Dr. K today.